everyone, I'm Ritra. I'm one of the physical therapists here at Breakthrough Physical Therapy. And one of the very commonly asked questions that we get is what are some other things we can do other than massage or stretches for Achilles tendonitis or Achilles tendinosis? So before we get into the details of that, I just want to explain the difference between tendinitis and tendinosis. Tendinitis is more sort of an inflammation or swelling happening within the tendon. It's more acute, whereas tendinosis is something that's more prolonged and there are some structural changes and degeneration which has already happened in the tendon. Uh, both can be tackled with physical therapy and with very simple exercises, but I'm just going to go over some of them right now. With tendinosis, it may take a little bit longer to heal, but both can be helped with physical therapy. So let's get started. So even if you have tendinitis or tendinosis, you don't want to completely rest the tendon. Evidence suggests that we have to load the tendon a little bit to improve its loading mechanics and eventually help it prepare for the activities that you like. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to use a band right around my ankle and I'm just going to match the resistance and I'm just going to hold it. This is called as an isometric exercise. So you're going to kind of build that loading mechanics. You're going to just start off with loading that tendon and rest. And again, you can push down, hold, and relax. You can do like a set of 10, hold for around 10 seconds, and then go from there. So the next exercise you can do is just isometric hold of those calf muscles. You can just push the front leg into the wall, do a little bit of a raise here, and just hold it. You can start with holding it for 10 to 15 seconds, and as things get better, you can even progress to holding it a little longer, around 30 to 40 seconds. This is very crucial to do these isometric exercises in the initial phase of your rehab and then slowly progress. So the third exercise is a combination of eccentric and isometric hold. By eccentric, I mean you're going to go down towards gravity and slowly control the lowering of the tendon. So you start here, you count till four, go one, two, three, four, slowly down and then you get your leg just so that they're parallel to the floor. You don't want to raise your you don't want to go all the way up here, okay? So you start here, you go one, two, three, four. Come back to where your feet are parallel. Hold. And then go slowly back down. Come up and hold. 